for me, mine is around the, that cost containment piece. This is one that I'm kind of really digging into. Like, I love what um, Ian and Nile are doing at Select. I feel like that's, you know, that's just really right now focused mostly on Snowflake. But I think data teams should be looking across their entire stack of what their costs are and figuring out, like, you know, can I justify spending this much money? Am I delivering this much value for the business or am I just a cost center right now? Um, and I think more data teams should be talking about that amongst themselves. Like, I don't know, Julie, I don't know if you're pre with your previous team, but at least with my teams, like none of my teams knew how much mix panel costs or how much liquor costs or how much we spend each month in compute costs. That wasn't something that we really talked about openly. And I, I feel like it should be something that data teams should take more like holistic responsibility on, especially when, you know, hitting compute in all these different ways can, can rack costs up. And I would even go as far as to saying that, you know, sh exposing those costs to the data consumers or the data producers, like if, you know, if you have an engineering team who just changes a schema of a data table and it causes you to have to like rebuild a whole bunch of things, like that's time and resource that, Bill. Um, you know, yeah, it's, it, yeah. it's cost, right? And an so, engineering team and an invoice. You just yeah, be like, yeah. you owe us. <laughs> But, but yeah, I mean, whether, like, I, I think there's something there because it's, it's not like the data team at the end of the day is the one who gets the bill. Right. But it's like, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of influence that happens across these different producers and consumers that I think people should at least be made more aware of what costs, um, how, how costs get incurred. And I don't really know how many data teams are out there having those conversations right now.